Hey guys, to start off with, before we get into how to install mods and etc, if you don't know exactly what you're doing or have a vague idea of what you're doing, it can be quite risky, so you have been warned. Now, I've noticed that there have been some changes to Nexus Mod Manager since I up since its recent updates, and I decided to make a video about it just in case some of you guys were struggling. So, when you first update, I can't show you, of course, but when you do first update, it will uh, into these new like additions like 61 point something 0 0.61.13 whatever um it will say that it, it for the update to fall through it will require you to uh, require to uninstall and reinstall all mods so what you want to do is you want to hit it will say it'll offer to do it automatically if you hit no it's a pain in the neck because you literally have to reinstall everything manually which is my mistake so just hit yes and it will all be fine so Let's use Skyrim for example. I buggered up with that one, and it, you know, it didn't go my way, and it still isn't fully fixed. But hey, that's not the problem. The problem is if you hit yes, you'll be fine. So do that. So that that'll happen. And then what you want to do is bring yourself over to the Nexus here. Too many boardy things. And let's. Let's have a look at this mod here, shall we? So, whistling mine. So, what you want to do is don't do Nexus Mod Manager. I always find that one to be quite a pain for some reason. So, I I would recommend manually downloading whistling mine or any mod, and then wait for it to install. So right, so it's installed. So now what you do is you go to this plus button here. You find where it's saved to. So for me, it'll just be simply in favor for some reason. Because it will do, you just will. And there's Whistling Mine, open it, then wait for it to come in, or it'll be a bit there. Then you just hit this tick, and that mod is now there. So, as you can see, the town is now here, the mod Whistling Mine. I'm at Whistling Mine, and it's that simple. Literally everything, I've shown you literally everything. So, like I said at the start of the video, Modding can be risky business if you're not sure what you're doing and not all mods are as straightforward as that most are especially just the regular add-in like ones like sort of like mods like quest mods like Falscar, Wormstooth and like alteration mods like Climates of Tamriel and etc. Some mods require the Skyrim script extender which I would recommend you all get because that way you can get like animations and stuff and stuff but there are plenty of other things as well that different such as EMBs they are quite different and I actually don't know how to install EMBs but that's not what the video is about it's just mods in general and most mods install quite easily just like in the video so now I'm going to show you how to sort out the load order if all things sort of you know well if, if you want to make the game as stable as possible my load order isn't the best it could possibly be I just want to get that out there but it definitely doesn't crash very often so what you want is you want to have these two files up here that you can't really change them. Then you want to have the two or the three DLCs or how many DLCs you have. And then you want to have the unofficial patches installed. They you can find them on like the unofficial Skyrim, Dragonborn, and Dawnguard patches on the um, Nexus. Then you then you want to start installing your mods. Now if you're going to install mods, you have to make sure that the mods that they rely on to work are above them in the load order. So Climates of Tamriel obviously relies on Skyrim.esm to work, doesn't it? So Skyrim.esm is above it, isn't it? Uh, down, let's have a look. Falscar, fast travel.esp relies on Falscar to work, so put that below Falscar. So it's wherever it is, is down here. So yeah, there we go. And then you have um, uh, like you have your most the high res texture packs, which I don't actually know why they're there. Uh, Cloaks, and then you have Cloaks Dawn God, which is a little bit of an update. So the update goes below the Cloaks thing. Then DB Enhanced Blood Main .esp is down here. I'll probably move that up at some point. Whistling Mine .esp is down here, right at the bottom. Ninja Gear .esp and HG .esp. I don't even know what HG .esp is, but it's just there. So basically, all in all, you want to make sure that whatever your mod file relies on needs to be above it in the load order. So if that's another mod. Or if that's a, if that's um, not a main file of the DLC or something, make sure that that is above it, 
and your game should be fine, in theory. Or at least it'll crash less often. So I hope this helped you out if you were confused by the new update which required all mods to be installed and reinstalled or one of the new updates anyway because I know the next Nexus mod manager literally gets worse with every update sometimes but come the end of the day it becomes easier to use once you figure it out so can't fault them for that but do enjoy modding your your game whether it's Skyrim, Fallout, whatever there is some other steps to modding Fallout 4 though that I haven't covered, which I, I have to do my research on those, I'm not entirely sure on them myself, I have a rough idea, but it's not strong enough, but if I, if, if I do figure it out I'll make a video on it at some point, but yeah, so that's how you get like the modding oh, shit, but that's how you get the mods in your game, so thanks for guys, hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment, tell me what you think, and I'll see you all in the next one with another video, fuck off dragon, so yeah, so da.